Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tina and I'm a full-time reseller. And today I'm bringing you another what sold weekend edition. So these are my sales from Friday afternoon until Monday morning. And I sell on eBay, Etsy, and Poshmark. eBay is my main platform. I have not even shared my Poshmark closet in probably like two weeks. So I've had no sense on Poshmark, but I had one sale on Etsy this weekend. The rest are all on eBay. Uh, let's get into what. Alrighty. So first thing that sold on eBay is this Johnny Was skirt. I think this is an older, it definitely looks like an older tag and I've had this for a while. Uh, this sold for, uh, I took a best offer of $40 plus shipping. All right. Then I sold the Stella and Dot cosmetic clutch. This sold for $9.99 plus shipping. I think this was uh, in one of my thrift hauls over the winter. Next, I sold these Mucklucks. Uh, these were a recent listing. I did not expect them to sell so fast, but they did. Uh, these sold for $25 plus shipping. Next, I sold a pair of Hylite, maybe that's how you say it. I don't know. Anyway, they're kind of like yoga pants flared leg. These sold for $16.99 plus shipping. Next, I sold a vintage Diane von Furstenberg silk shirt. This came out of that big estate sale haul in January. This sold for $39.99 plus Next, shipping. Next, I sold this Versace bright crystal perfume. This is sealed. I actually had this since the fall and I didn't list it because I wasn't sure uh, what I was going to do with it. The resale value was not that great. And I did pay, I paid up for this a little bit. I still made a profit on it, um, but I wasn't sure if I was going to list it or just keep it, but I wasn't sure what it smelled like. Uh, and I ended up ordering some stuff from Sephora and they sent me a sample of this. So it was perfect. So I got to try it and decide if I wanted to keep the larger one or just sell it. And I decided to sell it. The scent was okay, but it wasn't like, I don't know, I wasn't in love with it. So I ended up selling this for $29.99 with free shipping. I mean, I doubled my money in profit, but, you know, could have been better. You would have thought. <laughs> anyway, next I sold this spring interlude um, mug. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Really pretty bird scene on that. All right. Then I sold this floss tote filled with, and that first photo was not, it was not really that great, was it? But as you can see, filled with different skeins of embroidery thread. And a lot of these packs had multiples in. Um, that was just some stuff that was on the top of the box. Anyway the woman messaged me and she didn't want the actual floss tote box itself. So it saved her a little tiny bit in shipping. So I shipped it. I just shipped all the stuff without the box. So anyway, this sold for $69.99 plus shipping. All right. Next I sold a puzzle, definitely getting low on puzzles, but I still have a few. This one sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Next, I sold a pair of Vince Camuto um, black zipper detail kind of boots. These sold for $29.99 plus shipping. I, I can't even remember where I got these, but I feel like I picked these up over the winter. All right, next I sold a set of six dance melamine glasses. So these are like that kind of plasticky, plasticky kind of thing. Every time I film this, Max has to sit next to me and like tear up the little carpet. <laughs> you don't know if you guys can hear him or not. Uh, anyway, yeah, these sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Losing my train of thought here. All right, next I sold a pair of Aldo heels. These sold for $24.99 plus shipping. And then I sold these Halloween tarot cards. These were in my recent haul that I believe I uploaded on Saturday. So these went to a viewer. Thank you so much, Charles. I always appreciate your business. And these sold for $19.99 with free shipping. 
really cool cool looking deck of cards there all right then i sold this dimensions gold collection petite kit this sold for 22.99 plus shipping and then another cross stitch kit sold this had a few extras i had a few extras like some pins and whatnot so yeah that sold for 32.99 plus shipping Next, I sold six Tonyana Italy salad dessert plates. These sold for $29.99 plus shipping. These I purchased last summer, and I did not list until March. <laughs> that is terrible. They sat in my garage for a long time, but I finally got them listed. <laughs> These were definitely a death pile item. Uh, but anyway, I still have more of this pattern listed, but these are the first to sell from it. Next, I sold another pair of Vince Camuto. These are just a pair of like mules, heels, or whatever. These sold for $18.99 plus shipping. Did a little bit of a flaw, little um, little holes right there. All right, next I sold a Longer Burger Parsley Spice Container. This sold for $19.99 plus shipping. It's in the uh, red or the paprika color, I guess you would call it. I don't know. Don't I didn't want to com confuse spices though. <laughs> so I just put red. Okay, then I sold a pair of uh, Chico's Palazzo pants. These sold for $18.99 plus shipping. And then a Tignanello handbag. This sold for $24.99 plus shipping. And then a pair of Vionic Ortho Heel sandals are selling so these sold for $29.99 plus shipping next i sold a puzzle um a messy bedroom that is the pattern of that isn't isn't that interesting that someone would want to put a puzzle together of a messy bedroom i don't know but anyway it sold for $12.99 plus shipping if i didn't say that already I sold one spool of wallpaper border, just some horses, sold for $15.99 with free shipping. Next, I sold this Craftsman Rotary Tool. This was also from the haul um, that I had in the video Saturday, I think I put that out. This I took a best offer of $40 for. The same buyer also bought some cross stitch patterns for his wife. He bought this one and I sent him a best offer of $7 on that one. And then this one, another $7 offer since he did purchase the other toolkit as well. Then I sold a lot of two women within t-shirts. These sold for $19.99 plus shipping for the set. And I sold a vintage, um, Caprice blanket. It's got that little silky, silky edge right there. Those always seem to sell if they're if they're new, but this one, this one took a while. This one took about a year. All right. Next I sold four or bleh, couldn't spit that out. <laughs> four Oneida Bancroft dinner forks. These were in my death pile and I listed them last week and they sold for $39.99 plus shipping. I also have a set of six listed as well, but this is a, this is a pretty good pattern. I've sold this pattern in the past. The forks are definitely the most desirable in that pattern. Okay. Next I sold a pair of Crocs Isabella sandals or like a jelly style and these sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next, I sold a Mary Mac Christmas kit. It's like a little ball ornament. I actually have to make it. And there's actually two in the pack, but you have to put all the adornments on yourself. So this sold for $15.99 with free shipping. Next, I sold a women's French postcards top. This sold for $16.99 plus shipping. This was a recent listing. Next, I sold a pair of Land's End khaki pants. These sold for $12.99 plus shipping. Then I sold a Cacique bra. I think this came out of my last thrift haul back in March, uh, the beginning of March. This sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Then I sold this Chico's 
Chico's, I can't speak today, Chico's Warped Whimsy Fringe Hem Top. This sold, and it's actually, this was sized, which is very strange for Chico's. They normally just do the vanity sizing, but every now and then you'll come across a piece that has a traditional size on it, and this was one of them. It's got the um, large, extra large. That, it, you know, it's weird though, because normally when I do see the traditional sizes, it is usually like a double size, like a medium large, or in this case, large XL. Anyway, this sold for $18.99 plus shipping. And then I sold a pair of Merrells. These uh, I had listed for $44.99 plus shipping. The buyer messaged me and asked me if I would do free shipping on them. So I said, sure. And yeah, so $44.99 with free shipping. And then my one Etsy sale is this vintage cat on a swing. This, uh, I don't know if you guys remember, this was definitely in one of my rummage sale videos from a while back. And I just listed it as is because it smelled a little bit smoky. But this sold for, ooh, you know what? It's always hard to find the price on Etsy. I think it sold for like $15.99 or maybe $14.99 plus shipping. So anyway. Yeah, that's all right. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. And until next time, bye.